Hello guys, I'm back. My name is Jefferson Costa and I teach students, graduates and engineers how to work with chemical process engineering and plant design. And today I am here with you to share my answer to the following question. Could you please lighten the differences between PSV and TSV? So to answer this question, first we need to define what is PSV and what is TSV. In this case, PSV is a pressure safety valve no matter if you are handling compressible or uncompressible fluids and TSV is a thermal safety valve or thermal relief valve I will use uh, them as synonym and I will explain to you why in my years in the air separation industry we classified the spring loaded pressure relief devices in two main groups one of them was PSVs so every time that I need to do or to define the relief load calculations for overpressure protection for liquids, gases, or vapor, I added to my pipe instrumentation diagram a PSV in identification. So a cycle with a PSV inside this cycle to represent my PSV in the drawing. But there was a specific relief case that was the thermal relief expansion of cryogenic fluid. When you are producing cryogenic fluid, for instance, like li liquid nitrogen, liquid oxygen, and liquid argon, and you can trap this fluid in, in a pipe segment between two isolation valves or two isolation devices as cryogenic fluids, and because you have the well, uh, the heat linking with the environment, although you have the isolation of the system, this cryogenic fluid will expand, expand and with the expansion will have the increasing in pressure inside the tube and if there is no pressure relief device to release those, that pressure, you can have a rupture and you can have an accident. So when we have the specific case of thermal expansion of a cryogenic fluid inside a pipe, we added to the piping and instrumentation diagram a thermal safety valve because the thermal safety valve was to protect from the thermal expansion of the fluid. So what are the main differences between PSV and TSV? In this case, in fact, there is no differences in terms of device. Both are spring-loaded pressure relief devices that opens because of the, the action of overpressure inside the system and recloses because of the removal of the overpressure. However, to let the life easier for the chemical process engineer and also for the instrumentation engineer, they use different, different nomenclatures. Because every time that I needed to do calculations of the relief load, I was talking about a PSV. And for the thermal relief device, as it was defined as the trap of a cryogenic liquid between two isolations, the relief load needed to, to prevent the overpressurization is very small. So any PSV, the smallest PSV or the smallest pressure relief device would be able to handle this kind of situation. And the instrumentation engineer uh, already have a specific size of the PS, PSV for this case, that is a thermal relief device scenario. So the, in this way, uh, Depending on the company that you are working on, although you have the same kind of device, you can have different nomenclature to let easier the identification of the scenario or the identification of the service or the, or the identification of the piece of equipment for any other reason. It's important to you when you are doing chemical process engineering and plant design be familiar with the definitions of the anachromes of your system. So in this case, we are talking about TSVs and PSVs. But if you have any other kind of anachrome, if you understand the, their definition, it will let easier for you to understand their purpose and with that yeah, identify 
or understand the differences between them. So if this video was useful for you, let, give me your like. It will help me to reach more people and share it with a friend or with chemical engineering groups because this way you will help me to reach 100,000 chemical process engineers around the world. So guys, this is it. I hope you like it and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.